Okay, that being said, I'm going to move into my square for the week. It's going to be Garrett Wilson. Now, this is a player I, I really hope I shouldn't even have to say. There's no way Garrett Wilson is on your bench. People might be a little nervous wondering, is he really that guy yet? Can I trust him? You know, he's a rookie wide receiver. He plays for the Jets. They got a backup quarterback in. It's against a crazy defense like Buffalo. You're starting Garrett Wilson. I say right now, rest of the season, you are starting Garrett Wilson. He is a high-end wide receiver, too. There's no reason he should be on your bench. I know you drafted him round nine. You might have other good wide receivers. Garrett Wilson must be a priority play. There's no reason he shouldn't be inside your top line unless you're starting Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, and Tyreek Hill, you know. <laughs> so Garrett Wilson's got to be in there. He's had at least 26% of the team target share over the last two weeks, 22% on the season. The team ran over 70 plays with Mike White under center last week. Over 70 plays. He threw the ball 57 times in their game last week. The, there are, the Bills are 10-point favorites in this game, and so I think it's very likely that you see Mike White throwing the ball at minimum 35 times this game. Uh, the Jets have made Wilson a priority in drawing and designing up plays for him all across the football field the last couple of weeks. They want to get the ball to him because he is their best player on offense. Um, you know, the Jets prioritize getting the ball. You know, the Hall or in the season when he was clearly their best player. Garrett Wilson is clearly the best player out there for the Jets. Uh, I think you can rile, rely on him, uh, you know, rest of the season, as we mentioned. You know, Buffalo is usually uh, an avoid type of opponent early in the season. We talked about Buffalo. We're like, we should just call the scare segment, you know, the Buffalo segment, who plays Buffalo. But actually, they've allowed the second most points against for wide receivers over the last month. They had Elam as a healthy scratch last week. They had Tredavious White is still easing back into things. I think Buffalo is a lot softer than you might. Uh, it might appear on the surface as a matchup as well. So I think all things are pointing up for Garrett Wilson. Absolutely has to be in your lineup. Overall stats for for basically any Jets player are really misleading on the season due to the fact they've had three separate starting quarterbacks. So you have like eras in the season about how the different quarterbacks have played. But something that's been ringing true more and more often is that Garrett Wilson is the guy they want to get targets to. Obviously, that's going to turn into more of the defense giving more of their attention to Garrett Wilson. But we're seeing Garrett Wilson rise above that week week over week, producing massive amounts of yardage. Uh, what was it? Uh, 115, 92, 95, 162 for the last five games. So that's between two different quarterbacks. So he's starting to prove to be quarter, uh, quarterback proof as long as he's actually getting those targets or the plays drawn up for him. I also I agree with you a lot that Buffalo's secondary is not as good as people are, are, are thinking it is, especially with the loss of Von Miller having an impact on the pass rush. And if they don't play against quarterbacks, they're afraid to throw the ball downfield they're a little bit susceptible to be to be beaten um, by good wide receivers. Something else is that this game is projected to be like a 26 to 16 matchup because it's a 43 and a half over under and the 10 and a half point spread. So I'm at, I, I'm honestly, I think this would be a safe game to kind of look to bet the over on because I think that both teams are going to be attacking. Both teams are going to be looking to score. I think Mike White knows now how to really target or knows who to target in this offense, which both G will and, Corey Davis has uh, proven to be a really reliable target in the last game, helping them get into multiple scoring um, positions late in the game against Minnesota. So I think that this offense isn't going to be too, uh, it's not going to struggle too hard to move up and down the field. And I think Garrett Wilson is going to be a big reason for that. Yeah. And just, just talking more to your eras, right? So in every era that does not include Zach Wilson, this guy in half PPR leagues, the first three games of Joe Flacco averaged 17 points per game. That was 51 points on three games. The last two games with Mike White, he's had 50 points. So that's 25 per week. So he's averaging 20.4 points per game as a wide receiver without Zach Wilson as a rookie. He also was, what, number two in the league in red zone targets with Joe Flacco as well. So yeah. that was the – that was the those were the earliest games of his rookie career, and he was already being trusted in the red zone like that. Yeah, th this guy's got league winner written all over it. Just, just really wanted to 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 uh, push home that he shouldn't be on any single benches out there. Yeah, don't look at overall scoring numbers or in terms of stack ranks. Like, uh, what is he in PPR and PPR? He's wide receiver nineteen. He's way closer to wide receiver ten or seven, something like that. When it actually comes to the games, he's actually getting targets in because they're <laughs> they have a quarterback in that actually produces passes downfield that will be completed. 
Yeah, absolutely. And if for some reason you are considering benching Garrett Wilson, I need you to go straight to the description. The link is at the top for our Discord. You need to hop in and tell me exactly why, because it's good. It's going to take a lot to get our heads to wrap around that. So I do want to give you props, though. The three wide receivers you listed are not on by this week. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Unintentionally uh, nailed that one. So 